Hi everyone, my name is Ryan Price. I am a paleontology laboratory technician here at the Houston Museum of Natural Science. And this is your fun fact of the day. So we're standing here in the Weiss Energy Hall and I'm going to be discussing with you guys petroleum and facts about it. So there's a lot of misconceptions about what petroleum is. One of the biggest myths is that it's liquid dinosaur, when in fact most petroleum on the planet is millions of years older than the first dinosaurs ever are. So petroleum is uh, actually created from hydrocarbons, which are very complex molecules. Uh, and they are uh, created by essentially uh, microscopic plants and animals that live either right at the surface of the ocean or at the bottom of the ocean floor. So we would call those plankton and some of them would be benth uh, benthic organisms. Uh, these organisms uh, eventually die and they will either settle down to the bottom or the ones at the bottom will just stay there and they'll get covered up in layers of silt, uh, layers of clay, what we would call mudstone. These get covered up more and more and more and get pushed deeper into the Earth's surface where eventually the heat and the pressure converts them into what we would call petroleum. It can come in either a liquid form or a gaseous form. Um, the organisms themselves are called, uh, they're either forams, some of them are coccolithophores, and we're lucky enough that we actually have some massive scale models of these on display. So if you follow me, I can show you. So that right there, sitting there, it's kind of that round, almost disc-shaped thing. That guy is called a diatom. He's made of mainly silica. Over there, it looks like a bunch of pineapple slices all put together. That's called a coccolithophore, right? And that's mainly made of calcium carbonate. So that's what your chalk is made out of. That's over here what diatomaceous earth is made out of. And then right ahead of me, so that guy there, the spiky one there, the spiky one, there's one over there. Those are called radiolaria. They make their bodies out of silica again. And the most important one would be like this guy here and this guy over here. Those are called forams. Forams, they make their bodies out of calcium carbonate and they're really important. When they get compressed, there's what it will ultimately produce most of the petroleum.